So this is Ark Survival Ascended. If you've opened up this game for the first time, you probably noticed that it kicks your computer's butt more so than Ark Survival Evolved does in terms of graphics. It looks way better, but it it really does require a lot to make it clean and crisp. Like one thing that bothers me is like when I look left and right like this, there's like this weird jittering like effect that it does. I don't know if you guys see this. It's really like stuttering and it's it's super annoying there are a bunch of settings that i've changed to make it look better right now this is actually the default settings that the game runs with in this video i'm going to show you settings that i've changed to make it play better for me so hit escape go into your settings and we're going to start off by going to video. In video, you can obviously control your graphics presets. This will change all of your settings. So start off with a preset that your PC can handle. If you wanna do epic, you can. High, medium, low, depending on what your PC can. I can do epic, but I kind of end up like topping out at like maybe 50 frames per second. Whereas with high, I can kind of just push over like maybe 70-ish. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna keep it on high. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn max frame rate off so that I don't have that on so it can go higher if it can. Motion blur, I'm gonna turn off. I don't like motion blur. The light bloom, this is maybe a controversial thing. I actually don't like the light bloom. I feel like it adds this weird kind of smoky effect to everything and I'm not a huge fan of it. So I turn this off and I, if I quickly save and show you what that changed, you can see in the distance there, it's it's quite, you know, more clear in the, in the background. I prefer it this way rather than like it being like smoked off in the distance. The rest of these things I leave as they are currently. We can go ahead and go to RTX. If you do have an RTX, I highly recommend having DLSS on. And you know, these are the settings I'm using. These are actually the default ones for if you are using an RTX graphics card. UI doesn't have anything super interesting. Camera does have a few things that might help you. The first major thing, honestly, for me is turning camera view bob off because it, it's I, I don't like it bounces too much and I, I get motion sickness from games and stuff like this as well as this camera shake scale I just just turn the turn them off and the camera FOV I'm actually gonna put to 90 might mess up my my frames per second a bit we'll actually go check I actually haven't tested that part but it lets me see more of the screen and I prefer it that way and then if you feel like the sensitivity of your character is a bit too much, like looking left and right and down, I actually went down here from 27, uh, the default's 27 to five, five for each side here so that it just matches a bit more with the speed I use my mouse at because my mouse is for some reason really fast in this game. If I save those options and I go back into the game, you'll see here, we now have a more of a zoomed out feel to the game. It also doesn't bob anymore. When I look left and right, it doesn't have as much stuttering. There is still a little bit, but when you're walking forward or running forward, it's actually it's actually much cleaner. It's nicer. I don't know. It, for me, this this feels way better than what the default settings are. As you can see how the game looks like in the distance, this for me made a huge difference. Obviously, the one big drawback to this is that higher camera FOV does mean that your frames per second is going to suffer. So if your computer is not super strong, having a higher camera FOV can, you know, hold you back in terms of, you know, your performance. And those are the settings that I've changed to make the game feel a little bit more at home and clean and, and, and like stable for me in my experience. If you guys have any tips for changing some settings as well that you notice like one setting is doing some crazy stuff to your game, let us know in the comments down below which one we can change to get better performance out the game. And thank you guys so much for watching.